Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing four really simple and easy meals that you can cook with rice. Rice is very cheap and affordable and we cook it a lot. We try to use whole grain brown rice. Um, it's up to you, you can pick whatever rice you want. You can pick instant rice, boil in a bag, brown rice, white rice, you can cook it however you want to. For this video, I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite dishes that we cook in our household, and I hope that y'all enjoy. All of the ingredients and recipes are gonna be down in the description box. Make sure to join my Facebook group if you have not. I will link it down below, and um, you can come hang out with me on a daily basis to see more of what goes on in my life. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would really help me out. You can like and comment and share with a friend and that would really help my videos out um, if you could do so. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate everything that you do for my family to help support us. I will talk to y'all after the video. Bye everybody. All right, everyone, we are gonna start off with one of my favorite meals. I often cook this for lunch for the week to have. I'm gonna start off by cooking one pound of ground beef on the skillet. You could even do ground turkey if you wanted to. I'm actually going to add my favorite seasoning called Uncle Chris's, but you could also just do salt and pepper. You could do one of your favorite seasoning, maybe minced onion, minced garlic, something like that. Just however you want yours to be seasoned. You could even do a ranch packet. And I'm gonna cook this meat all the way until it's not pink anymore. Now I'm going to chop off the ends of one zucchini and one squash. These are my favorite vegetables to add into this, but honestly you could do bell pepper, onion, you know, Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes, anything that you would like and this recipe could still work. So I'm just gonna chop them up into half an inch cubes just so that they're, they are easy to eat, like a bite size. Um, and then I'm gonna throw them into the skillet and we're gonna soften them with some olive oil and allow it to start cooking with the meat. All right, so now I'm gonna be cooking my brown rice. I am showing you this trick because I love it and it's an easy way to cook rice. You can buy these um, at the store and pop them in the microwave and throw them in the skillet. Um, they are $2 a pack, so they're not cheap. Um, you could also just cook your rice on the skillet, boil it, you could do a rice cooker, you could do an Instant Pot. I will leave my Instant Pot um, rice recipe down below. Um, on how to do that because that's honestly how I do it whenever I'm not using one of these packs But these packs save a lot of time and there you have it super easy tasty All right, we're gonna start out this next meal very similar to what we just did, but this is going to be taco bowls so I'm gonna brown ground beef you could also do ground turkey and I'm gonna add some taco seasoning that I had left over. And we're gonna cook this. Um, this is really lean meat, so I'm not really having to drain any grease, but if you did, you would just need to drain it, unless you wanted to keep it, because some people like that. I'm gonna add in one can of diced tomatoes, black beans, whole grain brown rice, and corn. I'm not gonna use that whole entire thing of corn. I just didn't have a smaller can, and I was trying to use that up, so. You can also drain the beans if you want. You don't have to use black beans, you could use something else too. All 
All right, after I added in the rice, I'm just gonna add in a little bit more taco seasoning. I had half a pack left and I needed to use it. We're gonna mix it all together, allow it to cook, and then that's it. I like to top it with sour cream and shredded cheese and you can eat it with chips. You could put it on tortillas if you would like or just eat it as is, maybe with some avocado too. All right, this next meal is one of my favorites. My mom cooked this growing up and I still cook it for my family. This is kind of like a gumbo, but it's not very Cajun. Um, so I don't really call it gumbo cause it's not, but it's similar. I'm gonna use um, an onion and two green bell peppers. I actually end up throwing in another onion because one wasn't enough since it was small, but we are gonna put them in a skillet and brown them with some olive oil and some salt and pepper. Now I am taking just beef link sausage. You can take any kind and I'm gonna cut them up into small pieces and we're gonna let this brown on the skillet for a little bit. This is already cooked sausage so I didn't have to cook it too long. I'm gonna add in some minced garlic and you can add in any type of seasoning that you would want, that your family would like. And we're just gonna keep letting this cook until I think the meat and onions are brown enough. All right, now I'm gonna add in a can of diced tomatoes. I only had the Mexican style, but you, you can use any type. I'm gonna add in a can of whole peeled tomatoes and I'm actually gonna cut them in half really quickly. Um, there's probably an, probably an easier way to do this, but this is just what I was doing. I'm gonna allow this to cook on the stove and get soft and then the tomatoes will mush up a little bit more. You could also add in tomato sauce if you wanted it to be more saucy or just a little bit water if you need it to be more liquidy. I'm gonna cook two cups of brown rice, about half of that in my Instant Pot. Um, the recipe is down below and then we're just gonna top that on top of the rice and we're done. All right, this last meal is one of our favorites too because we used to cook this when we didn't have any money. Um, you can actually cook this without chicken and it be vegetarian and it works just fine. So I'm just adding some sesame oil into the pan and putting one chicken breast. You can also use thighs if you want. And we're gonna coat with salt and pepper. Okay guys, I am absolutely horrible and I forgot to video this. So this is what I'm doing. All I did, was brown my chicken front and back. The inside is not cooked all the way yet. I just browned it, took it out of the pan, turned it on medium heat, and poured my bag of mixed vegetables, and I cracked four eggs. I'm gonna let it cook on low, really quick. I'm gonna pour my cooked rice in two cups, and we're gonna stir. I'm gonna cut up my chicken, add it in, and we're gonna keep stirring and stirring and add sesame oil and soy sauce, and then we're done. 10 minute meal. All right, I'm just gonna cook two cups of brown rice in my Instant Pot and stir it in. And we're really just cooking this all together now with the egg, the vegetables, and the rice. You can eat it like this, just adding some soy sauce or you can add the chicken in. So I'm taking my chicken that I cooked earlier and I'm cutting it up so that we can cook it all together because it's obviously not all the way done and do not eat it like this, please. But once they're in little pieces, I'm gonna add it into my skillet. We're gonna cook it all together with soy sauce and sesame oil, and then we are done.
Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope that y'all enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me what you enjoyed. That would really help me out. Stay tuned for next week's video. It's gonna be our family favorites that we cook using ground beef. I was thinking about doing a chicken video later and just like a series like this. Let me know if you like it and I will keep doing more. Thanks so much for being here guys. I will see y'all next time. Bye everybody.